Hey guys, welcome back to House of Prep. My name is Jerry. I wrote some things down this evening and I'm actually going to probably post this in the morning. Uh, so happy Tuesday to you guys. Good morning. And I didn't want to like practice it and think I wanted to kind of just be able to, to let it flow, right? Just kind of just talk off the cuff. So bear with me, okay? So trying to help new preppers and I've just been doing some thinking and it's good from time to time to kind of give a positive reinforcement uh, to people who are just now starting off and prepping uh, or if they're on the fence and they're looking at videos right now all through YouTube and I don't know if they'll stop on this one or not I know we do have some newer preppers that are subscribers and I'm glad you guys are part of the house of prep family I hope that you felt comfortable here I hope that uh, that you guys do feel like this is a platform here that you can ask questions, so that you can seek help. And I just wanted to use this video as an opportunity to encourage you. And in doing that, it'll encourage me. And I'm sure it might encourage some others as well. Uh, first of all, being a new prepper, you just have to understand people are at a lot of different levels with prepping. There's a lot of different mindsets of prepping too. Look, even as early as this past week, I've had people say, "Ah, oh, hey, Jerry, I can tell that you're you're just a new prepper." You know, hey, that's good. Pat on the back. Keep prepping. So I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter what people think of me. I've actually been prepping on on different levels on my terms for probably about 20 years at least. I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I've been through power outages, um, and every single time I've been prepared. I've always had pre preps. I've always planned ahead uh, no matter what came uh, even this past year when the pandemic hit and when things changed and I, we were well prepared there was no reason to panic there was no reason to worry so that's your first step is just understand there's a lot of different people with different views on what what is a prepper and how prepped you should be before you can even call yourself a prepper look that doesn't even matter it's just words okay so First thing is that congratulations, you're preparing. That's what you should be celebrating is that, hey, I'm understanding that the government won't take care of me when the rubber meets the road, right? When, when crisis happens uh, and when everybody and their brother is out getting all the supplies and there's nothing left, it's going to be up to me and my family to take care of us. That's the first step. Um, something you need to understand too is hoarding and prepping are two different things. Um, don't get caught up into the hoarding mentality that you just go and you just hoard stuff. That's not the proper way of prepping. That's not the smart way. It's long term that'll come back and bite you. Okay. Um, remember, it's more of a marathon, not a race. Now, if you have some extra cash and you feel like you're that far behind, then yes, go ahead and get yourself stocked up because in the reality of the world that we live in, time could be of the F essence, right? We don't know what tomorrow might bring. It's, nobody has a crystal ball. Uh, when an event happens in life, very rarely do you get any sort of a, a proper notice, right? So just remember everything has a place and everything goes in its place. As you're prepping... Uh, stay organized stay to the point where you don't just become a hoarder right you want to you have usable items and whether it's food that you guys will prepare and eat and that's something you practice practice preparing what you prep and again these are just random thoughts that uh, they were on my mind today and I hope it makes sense as you are prepping you might start with okay I want to have three days worth of emergency foods. And once you hit that three day, then you change that benchmark and you have a new goal and you might want to raise that to a week worth of emergency foods. And then you move that to a month. Set yourself goals, obtainable goals. Don't just sit back and just think, man, you've got to get it all done and hit a home run right off the bat. Uh, build yourself up to where you feel comfortable to where anything that might happen that you're concerned with or that might happen in this world that we're in to be better prepared. Now, can you 
be prepared maybe for the end of the world zombie apocalypse and you know will you be able to sustain for 40 years you know okay that that becomes very difficult especially if you're just starting out so a lot of times people might sit back and mock you and and others and be like yeah see how long you'll last after your supplies run out or after everybody comes and takes everything that you have you know it's just like okay you're a little bit too doom and gloom right so the reality is if, if the world got that bad i think just about everybody's in trouble at that point okay it's just just that's just going to be reality <laughs> if this becomes like a 40-year thing very few people are going to make it uh have the skills and the resources uh and the wherewithal with all the dangers of life in itself and the human element danger that there would be in an end of a world apocalypse type thing uh, it doesn't matter how skilled you are all it is is one wrong turn or one wrong you fell asleep at your post and it's over so i mean your odds are going way way down in that kind of situation so don't don't overlook it guys don't don't overthink this it's not rocket science think about your area that you live in what are you susceptible to in your area if you're in florida and the south and along the the ocean fronts you might consider hey my first immediate thoughts are hurricanes right and storms what about the winter uh, winter storms and things you saw a lot of examples like that look at texas this past year so you might look at your logistics and and, and, and first maybe make a list of what are my immediate things that I'm preparing for. So so once you kind of come up with that game plan, you want to be organized from the start. Look, label stuff with dates. Uh, if, you, if you have a hard time seeing dates on cans, get a black marker, write the dates on there as you store them up on your shelves, your prepper pantry. Uh, keep your spaces clean. Uh, look, slow and steady can win the race. It can. Now, some people will be like, oh, yeah, if you're just now starting, you're starting too late and blah, blah, blah. Well, if something happens tomorrow, then they're right. But does that mean you're like, okay, well, I guess I won't start then because, you know, it's too late. I just ought to sit back and just take it. No, we're fighters, right? It's the human spirit. We're going to do what we can, and we are going to, to keep prepping, and we're going to start prepping whatever level that you're on. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just keep it's one day at a time, it's one week at a time, it's one paycheck at a time sometimes because our budgets, let's face it, especially with the cost of everything going up around us, uh, sometimes you gotta you gotta budget things out. You can't just go out and get everything you want with one fatal swoop, right? Um, make sure you have the proper storage of food, cool places. Uh, look, if you're doing some long-term stuff and you're looking at the months ahead, uh, mylar bags, uh, freeze. Uh, dehydrators, canners. Uh, there's so much, vast amounts of knowledge here on YouTube, but if you start looking at, okay, I've got enough for a few weeks, but now I want to look to more long-term storage, make sure you're doing it properly and safely. You don't want to waste your food and you don't want people getting sick in your family. So continue to learn and sharpen your skills, which that is my next thought, is, is learn new skills, uh, whether it's you know gardening, uh, self-defense, uh, the canning, how to dehydrate mylar, always be trying to learn something new and uh, learning how to forage or to, to initiate medical, emergency medical to family or to loved ones. Um, all these things become valuable in any type of a crisis, right? So don't alienate your family. Try to include your family in this as much as you can, but look, don't preach. Don't become so obsessed with prepping that you push everybody away from you does that make sense does that you sometimes you can just get so passionate about something and people are just like you know they get turned off on you and to the fact that you just don't always want everybody knowing your business if i can relate that to you if you, if you can understand what i'm saying sometimes keeping things on the down low can be best uh sometimes uh, the less intel that people know about you around you when something goes wrong, sometimes that's better. Sometimes a little mystery goes a long way. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind as you're prepping too. Uh, you don't have to announce it. You don't have to wear a label on your shirt that, hey, now everyone lets you know I'm a prepper. Uh, no, sometimes incognito is a smart thing. You talk about the gray man, right? So as you begin prepping, and maybe just keep it on the low key for a while. 
just kind of keep it with you and your, your your spouse, your family, your immediate family that lives with you, um, and just kind of keep have everyone keep that on a low key. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's my my thoughts. I don't want to take more than this because I mean, obviously, there's so much more that's out there, and that's why there's comments here because I like to read comments. And a lot of you can also be encouraging. I've seen you do it. And this is an opportunity to do it to newer preppers. And I don't know who may or may not be watching this. If you're newer and if you appreciate some of these guys and gals coming on here and uh, giving you some advice, and coming up with some ideas, uh, make sure to thank them. Um, we've got a good group here. So you guys have a great rest of the day. And I'm going to catch you guys on the Thursday video after this. Okay. All right, guys. Bye now.